afternoon. Welcome to the City Plan Commission meeting of May 14th, 2024. I'm the vice chair sitting in for the mayor. Uh, we'll start with roll call. At least you get to do that part. Oh, okay. Braden? Yep, here. Kim? Here. Jerry? Here. Marilyn? I'm here. John? Here. All right, fantastic. Everyone is present. If you are able, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. I'd like to identify any potential conflicts of interest with the Plan Commission members. If none noted, we'll move to election of the Vice Chair. Uh, that is up with our new members. Welcome to Alderman Bellinger. Thank you for uh, being on this commission going forward. Uh, so I'll open up nominations for election of the vice chair. I would like to nominate Jerry Jones. Second. Uh, we have a motion and a second for my nomination. Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Do we have a motion to close nominations? So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded and closed nominations. Thank you very much. All in favor of voting me? <laughs> I'm not sure if this is proper. <laughs> Election of vice chair. All in favor of the motion, state aye. 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 Chair abstains. <laughs> motion carries. Thank you, everyone. Is there a conflict? Uh, no, no conflicts for me. <laughs> and you do a good job. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll make a motion. To, uh, sorry. I'll take a motion to approve the plan commission minutes for April 23rd, 2024. So move. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes as uh, presented under discussion. There's no further discussion. All in favor of the motion, state aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Site plan review for 625 South Taylor Drive. Review of site plan for Quick Trip Freezer Edition. That one's you. Um, so we have a site plan review for Quick Trip Freezer Edition. That's fairly straightforward. Yeah, we've done a few of these at their other properties. This is just adding the freezer to the property located at South Taylor Drive. Any questions from the commission members? Uh, do we have Quick Trip on the line? I do. We do. Know. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead, sir. Oh yes, uh, thank you. Um, yeah, this is Ted with Quick Trip. And Ted, if you could just once again reiterate what we're doing here uh, with the addition. Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, we're proposing to add a 233 square foot uh, walk-in freezer addition to the uh, rear northeast corner of the store uh, in order to accommodate uh, kitchen staff and uh, extra storage for um, the food products that we serve. And uh, so that's, that's why we're uh, proposing this addition. Great, and I'm guessing the the driver behind this at most of your locations is the, uh, the most of the food products we're talking about are generated from the Lacrosse uh, location, correct? That is correct. Yes. Okay. Great. Well, good for you guys. I'll entertain a motion for this one. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the site plan addition for the Quick Trip freezer under discussion. There's no further discussion. All in favor of the motion, state aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Good luck, sir. Thank you very much, and thank you all for your time today. Public hearing and action items. 1702 South 17th Street. Consideration of a conditional use in the neighborhood commercial NC district to allow the creation of an outdoor seating area at an existing pub. So this is application for a conditional use permit. Yes, outdoor seating at Limelight Pub located at 1702 South 17th Street. And this is neighborhood commercial zone. Okay, and this is, yeah. yep. yeah. if you could pull that out, that'd be great. Just there we go. All right, so uh, we're gonna hold a public hearing for this. So if we have any input from the public, uh, if you have any questions or need any clarifications, Please uh, step forward to the microphone, state your name and address, and pose your question. Any input from the public? Yes, sir. Hello. 
My name is Michael Schusler. I live at 1706 Broadway Avenue. Mm -hmm. I live right across the street from the establishment okay. um, to the north. I'm on the northwest corner of 17th and Broadway. And I uh, just like to say that Roman runs a very mature adult establishment. Um, he is uh, recognizes the area and under his own uh, leadership, he is doesn't stay open as late as he could, you know, just to take care of the neighborhood. He doesn't want to, you know, upset anybody, and uh, I approve of whatever he wants to do. Great. Thank you for Thank your input, you. sir. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Anyone else wishing to be heard? Anyone else wishing to be heard? Sounds good. We'll bring it back to the commission under action items, under discussion. Members? There's no further discussion. We'll entertain a motion. I'd like to make a motion uh, to approve subject to staff recommendations. Good words. Thank you, neighbor. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the conditional use permit for the outdoor seating area. Uh, Roman, any idea on time of uh, construction? Yeah, to, to be honest, it's, it's not going to take off uh, too long. I actually had that uh, in process prior to this because I was using an outdoor seating kind of the uh, cafe license for the outdoor tables. Mm -hmm. What happened was the city informed me that because it's on my property, it's actually this process versus using that process. So I had already started. So it'll probably take me probably less than a month to get everything exactly where it needs to be. Ah, the old forgiveness instead of permission thing. I yeah. like that. That's a good move. <laughs> well, I was doing, like actually, I did the proper thing. It's just they, they said, <laughs> no, hey, you know, actually, totally technically, good. let's make this a real deal, which I, I think is smart. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. All in favor? I'm sorry. Yes. Don't we need to close the hearing first before we close? Oh, thank you for catching that. I apologize for that. First, let's close the um, uh, public hearing. We'll take a motion for that. Yes. Take a motion for the public hearing. Second. It's been moved and seconded to close the public hearing. All in favor, state aye. Aye. Chair votes aye opposed. Motion carried. Now we'll entertain a motion for the use. I will do that, yes. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Not exactly. Do we have a second? We have a motion and second to approve the conditional use permit. Once again, thank you for that. Apologize you, for folks. the oversight. Thank you, Alderman, for catching Appreciate that. It. Thank you All so in much. favor of the motion, state aye. 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 Chair votes aye opposed. Motion carried. Thank you. Uh, 2201 North 15th Street, consideration of a conditional use in the UC Urban Commercial District to allow the operation of a food truck in the parking lot of an existing bar, requesting exceptions for operating hours and temporary use. That opens the public hearing. Anyone wishing to be heard on this matter, please step to the podium. You can state your name and address. Thank you. Eduardo Enriquez. I live on 1418 Geely Avenue to the building, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I came here today with my mom and brother. We just wanted to come to this hearing because we just wanted to be able to say that we do really want to just open this food truck. It's been a lifelong dream of ours for the longest time now. And we're working really hard to try and get everything up and running within the next month. Uh, Right now, our, our idea is to put it just outside of the food truck. Uh, right now, we've got some things in the way, but we talked to the bar owner about moving that stuff out of there so that we're able to do that. Um, I'm sorry, this is, I'm a little nervous right now. I just wanted to oh, okay. be able to say something just because we know we had to come to this meeting and uh, just wanted to represent. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Anyone else wishing to be heard? <clears throat> Anyone else wishing to be heard? Final call, anyone else wishing to be heard? Then I'll take a motion to close the public hearing. I move to close the public hearing. Second. Then motion and seconded to close the public hearing on this item. All in favor of the motion, state aye. 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 Chair votes aye opposed. Motion carried. Back to the commission. We'll take it under discussion for approval. Any questions from commission members or input? My question would be hours. Uh, what are we looking at for hours? Uh, right now we're actually fluctuating a lot on what we want to do just because of basically the way the weather's been going and the way the people are moving, especially today. Uh, for 
hour to this one. Uh, we want to be able to open every day except for Sundays from 11 to 10. Okay. And what's in our request, the request they have in there? Um, their request, they said they would operate between 11 and 10 p.m. Okay, so it's consistent with that. Yeah. Okay, great. Any other questions for the commission? What are, Alder? they're looking for a variance for the hours. What, what are the normal, is there what's stated for normal hours for food trucks? Um, it just says daylight hours. So um, maximum of 12 days for temporary use and all activity shall be limited to daylight hours. Okay. That's all the code says. Which as we know it can vary in summer especially. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's good to put, thank you Alderman, it's good to put parameters around that because mm -hmm. then there are no questions if something arises. All right. All in favor of the motion state aye. Aye. Chair votes aye opposed. Motion carried. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. And it's in my neighborhood, so okay. Only <laughs> <laughs> though. Um, finally, we have 1619 Calumet Drive, consideration of a conditional use in the UC Urban Commercial District to allow use of building for indoor entertainment. We'll open the public hearing. Anyone wishing to be heard on this item? Please step to the podium. Thank you. Hello, Michelle Gellings, 807 West v. Street, Cleveland, Wisconsin. Thank you. Um, we're looking to purchase this building from Roger Waldwood, and we're uh, looking for it to be kind of a multi-use, and I know it's not set up that way now. The largest area of this property we're looking to run our um, roofing company out of, and I believe the concern that um, the board has at that point is warehousing. I did st state in previous documentation that we put in that warehousing is really not more than anything Quick Trip or anybody else would have around there because 90, 95% of our materials gets ordered right to the site. Mm -hmm. So there might be a pallet of nails or something like that in that warehouse, but our intention is not to warehouse out of it. Probably not any more than what the auto dealership had there before in all reality, probably half as much. <clears throat> um, as stated in the documentation that I provided, we are looking at a potential and we do realize that this would be another meeting down the line and that's totally fine because we would need to get approval from you guys and then also from artists, but putting a mural on that warehouse wall of cityscape of rooftops. <laughs> And then the glass portion of the establishment, once we renovate corporate offices in the warehouse, would become a coffee shop called Rooftops Coffee Shop. And we understand that we do need to do things like restripe the parking lot and those types of things, which we're totally fine with doing. We just want to get the city's approval or answer any questions that you have before we actually go into contract with this building. Um, making sure that we're getting permission first <laughs> uh, and not like tipping any issues with doing it and then later we have problems. So um, that's our stated intention for the property. Uh, we would like to change the overall image of contractors in the area, especially roofing. Roofing, painting, drywall, we kind of are considered the lower of the totem pole in skilled trades. And we know that there has been people in the city of Sheboygan that's kind of ruffled the feathers with the way that they've treated their properties. We want to show people that we not only care about their homes, but their livelihood and the way that they interact in the community. We're not there just to like replace the roof, but really give back to the community. And we're doing that in multiple other ways as well. So this is just a vision that we have. Um, the coffee shop would be women run only to support women in construction and then providing local scholarships to our um, Sheboygan County schools for skilled trades. So that's kind of our vision for the property and we're looking to get go ahead or questions or feedback for or whatever you need that we can make this happen for that. Great. Thank you very much. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Thank you, sir. My name is Roger Rodewald. I live at 4309 North 50th Street in the town of Sheboygan. 
I, uh, the property has been in my family since 1946. It's listed under MSR Realty LLC, of which I am a member. And I just wanted to, uh, I know there was discussion about the fact that they would be using too many items and everything, but uh, since 1946, the building has always stored parts in, and those were used to do the work that uh, we had at the shop, which is basically the same thing that uh, these people are doing. So uh, I just wanted to make that clear that it's not a big change of things going on on Calumet Drive, so. Great, thank you, sir. Yep. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Anyone else wishing to be heard? Final call, anyone else wishing to be heard? We'll move to close the public hearing. I move to close the public <clears throat> hearing. Second. It's been motioned and seconded to uh, close the public hearing on this topic. All in favor, state aye. 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 Chair votes aye, opposed? Motion carried. Under discussion, plan commission members, any questions for them? Alderman? I don't have any questions. Um, I just think this, I never thought of such a use for this property, and I applaud your vision. So thank you for that, and um, I, I wholly support it. So thank you. Thank you, Alderman. Anyone else with uh, questions or input? Otherwise, we'll take a motion. I'd like to move to approve subject to staff recommendations. Another wonderful business in my neck of the woods. <laughs> second. We have a motion and second to approve uh, as presented under discussion. Marilyn, you have a large neighborhood. I know. <laughs> <laughs> North side of Sheboygan. Yeah. City. Washington <laughs> School, Geely, all of that. Yep. Right. For a long time. Well, I'm a little biased because I purchased my first vehicle from Roadwall when I moved here in 87 <laughs> from Ohio. <laughs> and I like her because she says roofing instead of roughing. So <laughs> I'm also a big fan of that one. <laughs> so, all in favor of the motion, state aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Our next meeting is on May 28th, 2024. Entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded to adjourn. All in favor, state aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. We stand adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs>